Hello everyone, this is Fletch from Twilight Render. Today we're going to talk about volumetric lighting. There's a template in Twilight Render that helps you to create these type of images where you have spotlights uh, shining through the fog. They're great for uh, certain special effects, so they're very simple to make in Twilight Render. Let's get started. First we're going to draw a 3 meter by 3 meter volume. Now I'm going to make a group out of that and we're going to copy it and paste it in place. Now we have two copies of the same box, right? Now I'm going to scale one of these boxes to be smaller than the other box. So I'm holding shift and control at the same time. I'm going to let go. I'm going to say 0.99 so it's just slightly smaller than the original box. I'm going to select the original box and explode it. And I'm going to reverse the faces with Control R. We're going to draw a small window and delete. So inside, let's hide this briefly. Inside we still have this volume. Now what we can do is we take any color you want and paint it on there. I'm using a garish ugly color because I'd likely not have that already in my scene. So any texture, uh, I'm sorry, any color that you don't have already in your scene, uh, paint that on there, rename it uh, Volumetrics, and then we can change the color to white, we can change the opacity, it doesn't really matter what you set for the opacity, uh, the color matters, but um, the opacity doesn't really matter. So now you go to templates, volumetric, choose volumetric light. Okay. And we're going to close that. Now I'm going to unhide all the geometry and I'm going to set up a camera inside the space. So I'm going to click on this corner here. I'm going to use the walk tool and walk forward into the space. I'm going to hold the alt key down so I make sure I'm in the space. I'm going to back up till I run into the wall. Hold the magnifying glass, hold shift key down, drag down, let go and type in 28 and hit enter. Now I've got a wide angle lens. I rotate my view a little bit. And then I'm going to make this into scene one. Now if I hit render, if you remember right, we had this window up here in this space. If we hit render, um, we're gonna use a low quality and low resolution for quick test renderings. We'll try rendering this and you'll see Already you can see that the volumetric lighting is working as the sunlight comes through the window It's shining in as if there's some dust in the air or maybe a light fog in the space as it comes through Okay, that's that simple you simply don't want your volumetric box to share space with your exterior box and Since I'm rendering an interior space. I've made the uh, normals of the exterior box face inwards now I could temporarily hide the volumetrics box and I mean I could paint uh, for instance uh, any material on the floor um, let's I don't know I don't want to color it black let's try paint it with carpeting and then let's go outside we'll turn off uh, I'm gonna just delete that wall And that little window and we're going to go into the environment and turn off the Sun okay now if we go back to our camera and I draw and we draw something on the wall coming out Go back in here I'll move this so you can tell better what I'm doing here so there's a box right there I'm gonna put another one right there on the wall coming out and now if we place a spotlight if I choose this point first I click and then I move away from it on the green axis and I click that's where the lights gonna show up and I click here on the floor as the target and now we have a point light but we can change the type to spot right here 
And now if we were to render that, it will render with the spotlight. I'm going to pause this and show you what the rendering looks like when it's done. And there we have it. You can see the carpeting on the floor. You can see that the light is shining uh, through the volumetric material. And of course, if you choose higher quality, you won't have this, this noise, but I just wanted to use a quick render method to show you quickly how it goes. Um, always use low render settings as you begin to put your scene together so you save time in your workflow. So that is how volumetrics work. We can choose one more. I'm going to choose volumetrics again, and we're going to show you what medium would look like. Yeah, well, let's just hit play on that. Again, I'm going to pause and show you this at the end. And there we have it. This is what it looks like with the, the medium. You can see the much stronger volumetrics. Okay, so thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please bring them up on the forum. You'll be able to download this scene by going in the description of this video. And until next time, this has been Fletch for Twilight Render. I'll see you on the forums.